Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Nivedita Dhingra and I'm a hemat-oncologist and bone marrow transplant physician at Max Hospital Patparganj. And today we are going to talk about blood cancer in children. So blood cancers are also known as leukemias and they are one of the most common cancers of childhood. Now leukemia basically means that uh, it's a cancer of the white blood cells. The symptoms of leukemia that can happen include the child being anemic, that is having a low hemoglobin value which results in the child not being active, not being playful, feeling very tired and lethargic. The platelet count in leukemia can be severely reduced which results in bleeding symptoms. So children can have skin and mucus bleeding, they can have bruises on the skin, they can be bleeding from the nose. Apart from that, a lot of children with leukemia have unexplained fever and recurrent infections. Other symptoms that could indicate an underlying diagnosis of blood cancer or leukemia include having bony pains or joint pains in childhood. Then sometimes lymph nodes which are palpable, they can be enlarged in the neck, in your armpits or groin areas which can feel as a lump. So one of the most simplest tests that can be done to identify leukemia in a child is just to get a simple complete blood count with a peripheral blood smear examination done. But to make a further more accurate and refined diagnosis, your doctor would have to perform a bone marrow test because in children there can be two types of leukemia. The more common one is acute lymphoblastic leukemia and the less common one is acute myeloid leukemia. However, both forms of leukemia need urgent diagnosis and treatment and they require hospitalization. For both forms, the initial treatment is with chemotherapy. But the good news is that with timely diagnosis and proper protocolized treatment, a majority of children suffering from this otherwise life-threatening disorder can be cured. However, there are certain children that may have high-risk leukemia or in some cases, even after treatment, the leukemia can come back. For such children, more advanced treatment options are required, which include a bone marrow transplant. And it also includes a, something you all must have heard, which includes CAR T cell therapy, which is soon going to be a reality. So my message to all would be that if you notice any symptoms which could indicate an underlying serious blood disorder like leukemia, do get your child tested as soon as possible, consult the right specialist, get the right diagnosis and right treatment to have good outcomes. Thank you. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get the latest healthcare updates.